Hello everyone and welcome to another game of the XTC streamed by X-Wing Schweiz. Also known as the first episode of the Dagobah Statistics Force. With me today is Dome. Hello Dome. Hello everyone. And we have a very exciting game here. We have on the left hand side Martin playing for Team Switzerland. And on the right hand side, we have Beto playing for Team Mexico. Um, this is a XTC game, so we have a stream delay of 90 seconds. All right, so Dome, what, what list do we have today? Well, we have two first order lists because it wouldn't be a Swiss matchup without the mirror match. That would be boring. Absolutely so on one right. hand, we have the malware swarm by Martin. Okay. A lot of ties with some ATP sprinkled in there and the lovely Malarus. You get the nice, nice, tasty rerolls. And that is four ties with the automated target priority and two ties without. So on the left hand side, the pink and brown are without the um, tar advanced targeting priority. The other ones have to shoot the closest chip. And if they miss, they will get a calculate. Exactly. And the other one? The other one is also first order, as we said. Yes, and here we have... Let me make that a little bit larger. Ooh, the... No, it should be fine. Okay, so we have five Thai SFs. Um, they have Phasma. Phasma with passive clusters and targeting synchronizer at initiative four and four more TSFs also with clusters and passive sensors at initiative two. That means Beto from Mexico, he will fire first with all his ships and he has a potential of 10 attacks with three dice each, which is pretty brutal, the firepower. So I, I put a little bit something together here. Um, let, I will show, Dome, I will show now the analysis thing. So Who would be surprised that a stream with Raphael includes analyzes. Yeah, so this I wouldn't I wanted to put it, but I didn't put it. Uh, sponsored by X Wing Analytica, of course. Go to <laughs> xwinganalytica.net. Um, you should have, you should have. Blog. Yeah, actually, I should have put it on the bottom, huh? Anyway, so we have we have for for Team Switzerland for Martin we have we have uh, seven attacks with with two red dice. He can modify them with focus or calculate and the free reroll one reroll per ship because of Malarus and then he will take the strain. Um, that's a pretty good modification and I will quickly show you it takes seven attacks sorry six attacks to kill pretty sure kill a Thai SF and with seven attacks you are in very good territory so if his entire swarm can focus the same ship, Beto is pretty sure to lose an entire one. However, if Beto is first and takes one, takes out one or even two maybe, then Martin will be in a tough spot. I think this is one of the matchups where the dice are going to matter a lot, just because we're going to see a lot of dice rolls. I yes, mean, we I have agree. five times cluster missiles on the board. Um, we have Phasma as well with the target um, synchronizer. So there is going to be a lot of cluster missile shots. Absolutely. It's probably the game plan of Beto as well to, to roll enough red dice so the green dice of Martin are going to start to blank out. Yeah. And Tome, you can now see, by the way, the table on the screen, on the, on the stream. Um, if we take a look at the firepower of Mexico, then we have generally, if he does not get his, his uh, lock actions, he will only have two, five times two red dice. But that can go up to ten times three dice, so he can he can potentially roll thirty attack di dice uh, per turn, which is immense. That's crazy. And all he needs to do for that is to get his passive sensor action. And even then, he could even take the lock with with uh, only Phasma, use the targeting synchronizer for the rest, and then you know pass Based on, on the yeah pass it on. And then he has he has uh, again his third attack dice with focus, so he has a, um, a immense firepower. But now, if we look again to Martin, 
his defense is clearly the better one. He has he has six ships with three green dice, and he can modify them with focus evade actions, or he can also use the calculate for that that he could get from the advanced target automated target priority. So, and don't forget the the Mallers re rolls. They're important for Martin's attack, but they give him the strain, which in this matchup doesn't matter too much. Yes. Because he will roll the dice after Beto. So if yes. Martin plans correctly and uses blue maneuvers, the strain is pretty much negligible. Yes. He absolutely. doesn't care. So we this is also probably Martin has to Mexico, then take have... care of blocking. He needs to block those TIE SFs. Every yes. TIE SF with a target lock on the passive sensors is deadly to his guys. Absolutely, yes. And so for on the green on the green side, well, for Beto, the green dice, we have just two. And that means, as I mentioned earlier, Martin can absolutely overwhelm those as well. So, and the interesting fact, they have almost the same amount of hit points in the entire list, even though Martin Indeed. has seven ships and Beto has only five. So um, I believe first player went to, to Beto. And they already put down the, the lists and uh, the obstacles, so we will see them right after. Um, one thing, one more thing I want to mention is, from my perspective, the really the critical thing, I mean, we both mentioned already, Dome, is the cluster missiles. And if Martin, he does have a, a way to prevent that if he simply blocks the SFs, there will be no locks and there will be no clusters. So the blocks are absolute, absolutely key in this matchup. And I wonder how it's, we will see them. It's not only the, the blocks, it's the range control as well. I mean, we know the cluster missiles are range 1 to 2. So Martin yes. has to have a game plan to jump from range 3 directly into the blocks. It's, exactly. Yeah. prepare this. Yeah. Often lists want to jump from outside of range 3 to range 1, right? Now, Martin, for him, it's basically that, but shifted by one range band. He wants to have the first engage at range three because he will get the four green dice. That's his advantage, definitely. And then directly jump into the blocks. Indeed, with all the rerolls with Malarus, he should be able to put in some damage into the, the tie SFs before the whole thing goes down. Yes. So we will see here. Now we see the, the game. It's all ready. They start the time, and here we go. Martin starts by turning in. I wonder what is he? What is he going to do? You should remove the table as well, Rafi. Oh, it's it's done. It's gone. I I was perfectly on okay. time just by coincidence. Marvelous. Yes, yes, it's all so, all according to plan. Good start from Martin. One yep. of the things um, that he told me before the game. For him, Malaris is kind of a little AC here in this matchup because he flies after all the other ships and Malaris has this lovely, lovely jam option which could help him immensely with the target locks. That's a good That could be something that he has to use to remove an urgent target lock off of Phasma before Phasma can, well, share the fun. Mm -hmm. So we see now here that... that... Beto is coming here. I will draw on the on the board. He's coming maybe around like this. If he really does that, then I'm not sure that Martin wants to go straight. Like he has to he has to get into this um three by two formation instead of the two by three that he has currently, right? So he he doesn't really want to um stay like this. He wants to have his all his firepower at once. Indeed, indeed. Because if he gets chewed up piecemeal by piecemeal, he loses all his advantages. And furthermore, he has to really not get Malarus caught. Yes, yes. I mean, depending on how aggressive Beto is going in there, and if Martin is a little too cautious with Malarus, that could end badly. Because the Malarus uh, getting caught by four TIE SFs, oh boy, we do not want to see that, do we? No. Yeah, so I mean, I'm I'm really curious what is what is going to happen here. Um, let me actually zoom a little bit out. Then I think we have it a bit nicer. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm I'm really wondering. So we have the the first 
this next set of tiles is already set and i think both are fine Maybe both seem one to more. be ready yeah and we can see okay they're still preparing some stuff to yeah. see the dials Beto, Beto wants checking. to see the dial of Malares. Yeah, that's going to be important. All right. I mean, right now the question is, will Martin try to engage through the obstacles or will he try to go around? Because if he wants to go around to get his full firepower, he needs to hurry up. Oh, look at this. Oh. He actually goes He goes straight. He goes straight. On one hand, I like it because it keeps him together. But on the other hand, he needs to get his formation correct. Yeah. And we see Beto is here rolling towards the outer edge. So kind of delaying a little. But opening up the angle of attack. Martin now has a very, very short window to get through or get past that obstacle. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I, I really like that he Yeah, should... it forces his hand because right now he, he either has to split up his swarm, which could be beneficial due to the, the lovely clusters because, yeah, we do not want to get hit by all of the cluster missiles. But if he has now two options, either split up, or run all of them past the obstacle? Mm -hmm. Quite a danger dangerous gamble, I suppose. Yeah. Beto there thinking for a moment he should still evade, but of course he rolled and cannot do that anymore. Um, for Martin here, he bumps Brown. No well, shots. They are, see. of course, out of arc, but range, I mean, that's basically range four and a half, almost five. So that's... that's Yeah, and it means range three of the obstacle. So yeah. Beto now knows how fast he has to go, depending on where the ties must be. The ties will have to move past the obstacle. Otherwise, he's so limited, because don't forget... Beto theoretically can just fly over the ties and shoot out the back. Worst case scenario. It's not ideal, but Martin would have to stress himself to, to shoot back. So would you go would you go with a five straight here for Beto? I mean that's that's what? One, two. I mean, can Martin three. block the five straight is the question. Not here. at all, no. No, not at all. And that's I think I would go for the five straight. Right, maybe then. keep one a little back, maybe a four straight with the green one. He just to even, have more options next round. He could stay with four straight on all of them and it would be fine, I believe. Um, yeah, I but you think... want to get that one range one. You want to get that range one just to get that many red dice to overwhelm the green dice. Oh. Yeah, but I don't think that, that uh, Martin can do much against a, a five a five straight. I don't think that or four that, straight. That Martin can do a lot because right now he's boxed in. He has not a lot of options. He can't yep. really turn away because if he turns away, he gets side shots and won't shoot back. Um, if he goes fully straight, that's not really great either. Okay, so if here's he an idea. Stop. You do one hard, roll left. That is uh, out. And then next turn you do the you do the the turn of the entire swarm, right? And then you face you face correctly. Will be close-ish. Because what is the alternative? Do you go you go with, with Martin five straight here and um, hope and pray? No. The uh, the problem with the one straight is that afterwards everything is very closely packed together, and the TSFs have the better options because. They fly afterwards. So he can also, if he goes for the four straight, he can roll and maybe even catch a few of those ties. And I, I really see that Malarus is very limited in his options if you do that with the, the one hard and the roll. Yeah. 
And that really remember... sets Valorous to another straight maneuver, which would move him slowly away from the swarm. Exactly. I was just going to say, Malarus, I show the card in the, on the stream now. Um, he has to be at range 0 to 2. So he can't get away too far here. He doesn't want that. Oh, you, you have to keep him close. And ideally, you would even maybe shoot as well with Malarus. It's not necessarily really super good, but it, it, it's going to help in the long run. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. So we see a very aggressive maneuver here. So will we see the four straight from the TSFs? What do you think? I mean, if we do... This is going to uh, be brutal. I mean, Muller has to too hard, right? That's... Um, yeah, I, I can't see any other maneuver being worthwhile. With, four with straight, this. here it is. Oi, yay, yay. Oh, we have the passives. We have the passives. Yep. I mean, would you use the passive still here? Wouldn't you be tempted to use like Phasma to, to get your target lock and then just... Yeah, on the other hand. No, maybe I think you want I would to spend... go for half with focus and the other half with passives. I think, actually, I mean, it shouldn't really matter. And passive, you, at best, you keep the lock for later, right? You don't spend it. Um, likely, you will spend it. And also, the advantage of passive is, of course, you don't have to fix yourself on, onto a target. So what, what happens if the first true. one kills something, right? And the two hard, the two hard of Malarus. So Malarus is in range, I suppose, for the Malarus rerolls. Not, so I mean, brown. not really matter. True. Okay, good point. Brown, Brown is not, sure not going to shoot, I suppose. Yeah. I don't see Brown shooting here in this situation. Um, blue might be able to shoot the red one. He's probably going to focus down the red one with the ties that survive. Okay, no shot from Malarus. And now here we go. This is where the dice rolling begins. Lots I, and lots of green and reds. I intentionally didn't look at uh, how, man, how many shots it takes for <laughs> clusters to take out. <laughs> um, <laughs> them because I don't want to. So but, we can see Phasma has nearly all of the ties in range except the yellow one. So mm -hmm. where is he going to start? Ah, you take pink, no? I think so, yeah. Because if you can remove pink, then two ties will not shoot. And as you calculated so lovely, then only four ties shoot back, which is going to be hard to remove one tie SF for this. Ah, blue has one in, into red. So I'm actually wondering if you should focus everything onto red. So we get a okay. focus and a blank. That's a focus and a blank. And we have... Okay, that's enough. Next attack. So, is he going to take the target lock? Yes, yes. he is. I mean, you, what do you mean? Instead of the calculate? Of course. And here we go with the first clusters. Oof. Only this is what brown. The is. But only brown is another valid target. Yeah, but nonetheless. So green. I mean, if you can remove brown and pink, I think I can live with that. <laughs> True. What do we get? <laughs> crit Two hit hit. Crit. Um, will Against. We see ooh, oh. ooh. Spends the focus, so hit crit. First shield gone, and pink directly gets a crit. What is the lovely crit? Direct hit. Oh, that is a rough start. That is a rough start, I suppose. I mean, yeah. But... So pink down to one life, one hull remaining. And now the clusters. Yep. And now his second target. He has to shoot. Yeah, only, only brown is the other valid target. 
Yeah, okay. and here we see the shot in two brown. Second charge. I mean, the chances are very high that pink is going to be removed. And we have a triple blank. Okay. So we went from all natties to all blanks. That's, evens out. Evens I would out. have liked it the other way around, but sure. As Dai2 Fabian points out in the chat, Martin is going with his personal strategy. Just roll natties. <laughs> Hasn't worked out so well in the first shot, but we'll see. 70% of the time it works all the time. Okay, so another oh, cluster another shot. shot. Yeah, clusters, I guess. Yes, it will be a cluster yes, shot. Yes, clusters. I mean, why wouldn't you use of clusters? Of course, of course. It's a correct choice. Another three red ones into a one hull tie without any focus. Oh, that is only a crit. He uh -huh. will spend the lock. Spends the lock, wants to remove the pink one. Oof. For one, is it enough? And it's not. Survives. Pink survives. The All green right. one. Well, I, I can see why he shoots the green one. I mean, yellow will have a cluster shot on the green one. Oof. Oof. So removing the focus there. No luck there. But he lives. Okay. He lives. No damage. No focus spent. We move on to the red one. Yes, so that's two clusters spent on blue, two clusters spent on green. That's another point, by the way. It, it, these are finite, right? He, he can do that twice, exactly. and then it's over. And these. Yeah, but he needs to spend them now. This is the. It's a perfect shot. Oh, he will Ooh. spend the lock after a hit focus focus and into. We a... get hit crit. <laughs> See, Ooh, just roll enough. well. <laughs> just, just roll, roll well. well. Yeah, why? Why would you try something else? He can I now mean, choose. Expected... Ooh, this is very interesting. I mean, you should go for the green. Yes. Or the blue, just yes. to remove that focus. Absolutely. Okay, Brown is not going to shoot green. anyway, so why would you? Oh, this Another is crit. rough. And oh, that, that is. is... Yeah, I mean, um, we've seen a strong shot in the start from Beto, but now the greens of Martin have come back. And as you said in the beginning, it's dicey. So if the green dice work, Martin has a chance against the clusters. But as soon as he blanks out, things are going to look rough for him. Oh. Hit, hit, crit. And here we go. Only one. And goodbye. Loose stabilizer. Yeah, that's it for pink. Pink is a goner. Goodbye. Was nice knowing you. Um, and now the cluster shot. Yes, there's. But In this will green. be the last shot from him. And then. It's the last shot. I think that went pretty well for Martin until now. It was a lot better than expected. Because I mean, he especially was... the cluster shots were very. Well, low hitty. Oh, yes. I mean, he basically, he didn't... Yeah, no, he did. It just didn't put in the damage he should have, to be honest. Like, exactly. like the amount of, of single hit attacks we saw here is a bit rough. Um, but, of course, you know, we we take it. We take it. We take it wherever you can. So now we'll have four ties shooting back. Yes. Okay, that's range two. That's a good one. Two against two with the Malarus reroll. Well, doesn't Who need needs it. that? Hit crit. Double focus. That's double focus, and that's the two first shields gone. Yeah, and just keep in mind, Beto did a total of four damage. They have that the same true. amount of of life in their list. So if Martin gets to four damage or more. He's happy. Goes for the yellow one. Interesting. I would have thought he would start focus firing here. Yeah. Will reroll. Takes the strain. I mean, taking the strain here makes him more predictable, I suppose. But that's fine. That's fine. Oh. It is. Hoo -hoo. 
Yeah, I have to say that the dice advantage is on Martin's side here in the beginning. Yeah. Greens are not very hot. And his red weren't too hot either, so... Okay, another, another hit, hit crit. crit. And he waits one. But that means all shields are gone on yellow. And that is half points. Indeed, indeed. First point scored. For Beto, at least. And for Martin. And we have another hit. Mallers reroll. Oh, and it it's... stays at one hit. And he Which waits. Beto waits. So, traded one tie against five shields. Oh, that was so close. Brown almost got a shot there. Yeah. Yeah, so actually, that that's... Yeah, absolutely. The five damage for Martin against four damage from only only Beto, if you if you remember the the overview, right? Um, Martin is now a little bit ahead on the damage race, however, lost one of his guns. So I think a pretty equal start for the two of them. I mean, can Beto be happy with the result he got? I, I would have expected a little more damage on the ties, to be honest. With I, the I, think, I think it's advantage Martin here. To be honest, it is. This it's uh, not much, but it is. Now the question is, what are both of them going to do? I mean, what's Martin going to do with his ties? Is he going for the blocks? Yes. Does he want yes. to go for the blocks here too much? So all he... the the target locks have been removed, so if Beto can't get in some new target locks, cluster missiles are not going to happen. Keep in mind, the Zeta Squadron survivors, they have a turret, and the turret is indeed. currently looking forward, which is, by the way, um, that was necessary for the clusters, but it's a wide rotate, so if he doesn't get blocked, he can just as well move past and, and rotate. It's absolutely no reason why he wouldn't do that. I, I think that would actually be what I would try to do, because Martin can't block you too good from going straight through the swarm. And the only and... the only real real special uh, maneuver that he has, like the, the um, what's he called, advanced maneuvers or something, is the three sloop, right? So, and, exactly. And this... Well, he's not going to sloop left, I believe. Even though, would it be, wouldn't it be nice? It could be nice, but it's also a little risky. Would it fit? It should. If you if you think about the... Uh, oh, I have to hide uh, the dial again. If you think about the... Distances, right? So, is if you do if you do a, a three bank, basically you cut off here and then you go one, two, three. That's enough. It should fit, yeah. Yes, it should fit for both. Important rules for all the viewers. Martin yep. is the uh, Martin can... could learn a lot from Ruffy in that regard because Ruffy is the master of banks. Oh no! I, I just I suffer so much from them that I had to take a close look because I actually I'm because I I am so bad at them. But but yeah, yeah but learned. I think he could do the sloop at least with yellow, um, red as no, well. I think. But you wouldn't want to, right? What does Brown Maybe do? What does Martin do? Want to because if you throw red in there, you could maybe catch Fatma as a block. So, I mean, for Martin, I, I think the strained ones, they two bank, right? Yeah. And the question is, blue and, and brown, do they K-turn? They're too Why far from... They? I mean, brown for sure. Why wouldn't brown K-turn? Because otherwise, brown is just going to be off. Brown as a blocker is not really useful. Except if Beto goes for the straights, but, well... I don't think so. So here's a question for you, Dome. The 
yellow, two bank. Does that block Brown's one heart? Hmm. Because if it doesn't, then I would like that. Should fit. And because if you look at the space between the bases, and we see a two heart. A two okay. heart. Interesting. It's a little too hard for my liking, but okay. Another too hard. <laughs> Fits. Is this one of the cases where I have a hammer, so everything looks like a nail, so I'm going to stay in formation and use the hard maneuvers? Yeah, it could be. Maybe he just wanted to... I mean... He even keeps a strain. He does. He does indeed. If Beto is now flying straight over this, oh, uh, let's see. Oh, he it, does. <laughs> it, yeah, so it's... for yellow, it does. So, so the sloop I was talking about. Be straight. That bumps. That's actually okay Brown for the red one. Brown is just gonna be... Because he will not get shot, but he has a shot on blue. Yeah. The green does not bump. Oh. I see clusters incoming. And the blue one? Interesting. Okay. Keep in mind, that's probably something that Martin would... I mean, I, I'm, no. But just keep in mind that he can actually, if passive, he can, he can uh, rotate. He can. Uh, I've discussed this with Martin. This was okay. one of the questions he had, and I told him about that little gimmick. I, I'm actually one of the guys who really likes the tie SFs because I think they're really cool with the turret. Okay, so here's my thing. Imagine now two banks from red, green, and yellow and the K-turn from blue. Yeah. Oh, nice. We see a jam from Malarus onto yellow. I like that. Yeah, this was something that we also were discussing. The jam option on Malarus is so so good in this matchup. Mm -hmm. We move these target blocks. Take him away. Hurt them. And we have the first shot from Malarus into blue. That was not obstructed. We get a hit it's and a, a focus. Mm -hmm. ah, They're rolling three, so it was obstructed. Huh? Wait, was it? I think it was, if you look at the angle. No, but the chat says Sita Squadron is is not is not obstructed unless he shot at at. I don't know what he did. Maybe he did shoot at. No, it was not know. obstructed range. Well, anyway, too late. Too bad. So Phasma. going for a cluster shot on the strained tie. This is where the strain is a problem. Is at range two, so goes down to two green dice. Mm -hmm. Three dice with a target lock against two green dice. So what's going to happen, Rafi, Mr. X-Wing Analytica? He will do one or two damage. But look, look, he cannot spend it. Does he spend? Oh, he spends it. I did not expect that. Yeah, this is not worth did it. I, I believe in uh, this moment because he should have kept it. <laughs> oh, well, he does the damage anyway, but. <laughs> no, the reason is because he would keep it for for green for have red. Seen, have you seen uh, Fabian in the chat? Jam, jam, Martin, jam. Read my thoughts. Jam, yellow. <laughs> he did. He did, Fabian. So okay. we're seeing red S into blue. No, second cluster shot. Ah, oh, I see. From Fosma. missed that part. Yeah, that's, that's what happens when you read the chat. Oh. oh shit. <laughs> Well, well, triple blank. shots are really bad today, yes. aren't they? Yes, I mean, this is crazy. This is <laughs> not... Uh... Okay, so... So this is the turn where Martin has to remove a ship. Yeah, he has to. And unfortunately, Betori did really well, so he can... The only targets he has are not those that are already damaged. Yeah. And Martin needs to think about, do I focus fire or do I take the range one shot into the damaged yellow? Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, yeah, Malarus is getting a range one shot. Okay. Yeah, I jammed away the target lock and gets one into Malarus instead, so... I don't really agree with that decision because I believe the better way would have been to first fire all the other ships and then see if you want to rotate and go into yellow or yeah. maybe go into Malarus, right? Like, there's no reason why you do that yeah, already I agree. Now. But I think it was probably like, yeah, it's not going to matter, so I, it's going to get jammed anyway, so I shoot at yeah. Malarus. Yeah. So, okay. he's probably going to fire at blue, I suppose. Blue on blue. Because green has a range one shot into blue. We have a blue on blue shot, we have a blue on blue. That's dangerous, you know, shouldn't never shoot blue on blue. Well, why not? Make life spicy. <laughs> We do have blue and blue, okay. So let's see. How are the clusters faring this time? Okay, Two. double hit. Bends. The lock for three hits on blue. What do the green dice think? Two get removed, but the shield is gone. Uh, that, that's fine for him. I think so. So now the clusters are going to happen. Which is also a funny thing that they have the clusters out the back, right? That you yes. can, you must treat your, your uh, targeting of the missile as your turret position. That's what makes the TISF so lovely with clusters. So, clusters on yellow, or clusters on green, goes for green, or is yellow not in arc? Oh, barely. Oof, oh, this the is... cluster rolls, man. I mean... They're so bad. Has wow. he done any damage with the clusters? Not much, no. by far not as much as he should have. Yeah, I believe. That is rough. So, green, also into blue. I mean, blue is damaged, and he can then shoot at yellow as a second shot. Exactly, so it's it's the best of both worlds, except if his clusters roll keep going the way they are, yes. then none. Okay. We get yeah. hit crit, and he spends it for hit crit hit. And... Nettis! Nettis! <laughs> wow. Okay. okay I so, mean... so uh, I mean, the, the the amount of beer we have to send to Mexico is, is getting larger oh, and larger. Look at this. Oh, this is brutal to watch. Paint that is all, oh, that's painful, man. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a dicey matchup. But uh, seeing clusters like fail so badly is, and finally some cluster damage goes through. No, that was a. Oh, I, no, I believe that was the. Focus. There was the red. Yeah, I see. And we had a, we had a. He, he's evaded. So, okay, that was so, all the shots for Beto, and now now it important. One shield. And two shields on Malarus. So one thing I missed is, did Beto spend the last charge on on uh, green or not? Did he shoot twice with green? I missed that. I think he did, but I'm I not 100% sure. I also think sure. so, he didn't flip the token. But I'm not sure. So pink is definitely okay, red is definitely okay, yellow is definitely okay. Um, so evaded. Evaded. First of the shots. Get to calculate. That's why ATP is so lovely. Yellow. Can choose between blue and pink. Well, for blue. why would you shoot that Phasma? <laughs> why indeed? So it's for two. Focus. And the blanks. Double blanks. So blue is down two shields. Next shot. 
we go for red. Well, where would you shoot? Oh, oh. triple focus spends it, of course. That is rough. And he makes one, so takes two, oh. one hull damage. Hot yes. points. All right. And last shot. No, brown has also shot. A shot into blue. Yeah, yeah. We get hit, hit. Um, we'll is it? Do yeah, eight. it's double hit. Ooh, Mallory. Re rolls it, Mallory. Spends it. So he's going to take at least one. He takes two. Blue is off the board. That is a dead ship. Wow. So I yeah. think they should they should probably use the same dice or switch them or something because. Um, <laughs> I I think Switzerland owes uh, the Mexicans a lot of beer. Yes. No, I'm saying like this the, the amount the tally is piling up and up. We have to I don't know like like send a a, a ton of chocolate and stuff. Oh, it's incredible. I mean... Oh, he evades two. At least this one Yeah, is... that is okay. good that he evades two because... Holy moly. Yes. The clusters okay. just don't work. So, time to tally up. We have, on Martin's side, uh, still just one dead ship. Yes, two and lost... two shields. Two on lost shields, and that's it. No, Malarus has two shields. Oh yeah, sorry. Well. Okay, four. So that means eight damage total. So, uh, so uh, Martin Indeed. is now on on uh, twenty three hull total remaining. And on the other side, we have Beto who has eleven, eleven damage. Eleven damage total. Yeah, and okay. that with all. I mean, he fired one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> 14 cluster charges have been used. Wow. 14 cluster charges, and I think he did 2 damage. Yeah, way, out of way the, by far the not enough. Rolls. By far not enough. Like, he should have done way more damage here. Yeah. And I think the game would look very different if that had happened. Mm -hmm. Because now Martin is the advantage. His block is still alive. And he can now block... A, he can block Phasma. Where is Phasma going to go? Well, where is Phasma going to go? Do you think I if five see... straight? Let me quickly let me quickly activate the roller coaster. Yes. That's probably the only way. Uh, five straight fits past the debris. And it's the only way to get out of there. And yellow doesn't really want to block that with one heart because he can't because the yellow SF is still there. Indeed, indeed. So what are red and green going to do? Um, I mean, Martin is probably now going for the sloops. <laughs> so, so Lex pulls a and classic case. Swiss Swiss in the in the chat. <laughs> so we, we, we instead of instead of sending them beer, we're just going to pay the Mexicans off. Really, Lex? <laughs> <laughs> Send them money. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> No, no, but actually some some good some good. Uh, no, it was more a bigger speech. But yeah, we I, I think we we have we are deep in depth. Maybe maybe we should actually have yeah. paid off a Flipster or somebody from from the development team who, who makes sure we get those dice all the time. <laughs> because <I> mean, wow, <laughs> the the code must be stored in a Swiss bank or whatever. Yes. Swiss bank secrecy hasn't been fair this game. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> yeah, so, but, okay, but let's go back to the game. What do you do here? Martin has has his style set. Sloops I think Martin is... is going to turn with at least green and red, because why wouldn't you? There we go, K-turns. Because okay. it's very lovely. Um, oh, even K-turns with yellow, yeah, makes sense. Oh, that's a wrong token, uh, good. That's a wrong token indeed, indeed. Good eye. Now, what does green do? Green is probably going for the block. Do you roll? Whatever. Yes, yes, I agree with that. 
I mean, if Fazma doesn't go five straight, then Green has a shot, which is lovely. Yeah. I think that's good. He... I think it's good as well. So we see a free straight of yellow with passives. Keep in mind, Probably yellow has, has a half hull left. Oh, it goes for a focus. Yeah. Will probably rotate. Yes, we'll rotate, of course. Yeah, why wouldn't you rotate? Yes. Um, another thing to keep in mind is Phasma's ability. I will quickly show it on the stream. So Phasma actually has has a... No, just the ability. Um, while they defend after the neutralized result step, another friendly ship at range 0 to 1 must suffer a hit or crit damage to cancel the matching result. So you don't want to shoot at Phasma because Phasma is nope. basically the reverse pigs. Instead of pulling the damage, she spreads the damage because the others should suffer her her perils here. She must be a very lovely lady indeed. <laughs> so the green I don't think we will see the five straight from Phasma now that we see the green there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what else then? Does he bank right into the, the box there? Will he? Oh, that would be beautiful. That would be, I mean, holy, too hard. Okay. And that's a bump. That's a bump. Well, it's not too bad because there's still a range one shot. And that's another bump. Oh. That's another bump. That's and... not so good because Phasma is, well, yeah, but I think you would shoot red, nonetheless. You know what else is not so good? That red, yellow, and blue have automated targeting priority. They will shoot Ooh, Phasma. They all shoot Phasma. Well, maybe not yellow. Maybe yellow can pick Yellow right. might be out of... Uh, no, I think he has her in arc. Yes, but I mean, because if the, if the range band is the same, she can yellow can pick. Uh, red... Yeah, but I think Phasma is at range one. For yellow still? Will be tricky. I, I do we'll think see. so. Yeah. I do think so. So Malarus is going to coordinate. Okay. Ooh, okay, I like it. It's a good idea. Yeah. For the focus, lovely range one shot. Who wouldn't take that with a focus? Making sure that or hoping that green will survive. Green will get a calculate for its own attack and. I mean, the green still has the shield, and if, if yes. Beto has to keep sandpapering the shields off, hard to get points that way. I like that expression, sandpapering the shields off. You never heard that? No. Well, you, you haven't played a lot of other tabletop games, because that's something you do, sandpapering. That's true. So we get hit it blank, re-rolling the blank into another hit. Ooh. And Martin defensive doubly Ooh. weight. Ooh, um... I think well, uh, if this keeps on happening, we will have to invite the Mexicans to Switzerland for the deal. <laughs> it's getting worse and worse. <laughs> Just this, this. I mean, it's not. <laughs> okay, we had um, one crit and one evade and evaded. Yellow. Suppose range two into the green as well. Yeah, that green ship just doesn't want to die. Wow. Hit blank. And we get and another one evade. evade. Uh, yeah, three green dice, they can be so fickle. Either they just like are invincible or they die to a stiff breeze. Normally, if you play like Zuntir, they die to a stiff breeze. And if you play like these ties, they just won't die. So, so a lot of shots into Phasma, yeah. and uh, that to... means a lot of shots into potentially red. That's just one, and he Phasma waits. evades. Yeah, so that means. So that was yellow. He will no red. He that will get red, calculate. Sorry. Now yellow. Oh yeah, still range one has to go for Phasma. There we go. 
three dice. Those against... for Fosmo. <laughs> oh, I'm Ooh. so sorry. Oh, Ooh. shit. Oh. Um, how much beer are we owing the Mexicans? <laughs> it's getting more and more. I can choose. Oh. We'll move yeah. it over to green because red is on one. One with shields. Yeah. It's the one with shields. And I mean, red is going to be safe. Green gets two shots. Maybe. Should I put it on red? No, no, I think it's fine. Because, because you will Well, get green gets shot twice. Okay, yeah, true. Oh, shit. Oof. <laughs> what the fuck? This is more and more beer. We can't pay for this, Martin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hatred goes into Phosma and he has to move one off to green as well. Yeah. Oh, so I suppose he moved the crit. <laughs> Martin spreading damage like a champ here. Um, but no, I actually joke aside. I if think you look Martin... at the game board state, it looks like Martin used the cluster missile. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, but I have to say, Martin did a really well job with especially the, the Molaro's actions. I, I liked them. The, the jam and the coordinate was perfect. They yes. Very good choices there. And, I mean, he still got a calc on red and green. Well, green has a focus anyway, so it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. Well, is right. Maybe we have to spend them a mountain. So Pete's Mexico. Maybe we have to rename the Matterhorn. Yeah. No. Like this is this is really sad. I mean, I I feel pretty bad for Beto here because this is he did everything right. Yes. Yes. There should not be wrong. that many um, tie yeah. ties for for Martin. He got board. betrayed by his cluster missiles, and he yeah. did nothing wrong. Yeah. Okay, we get for once. That's only... the wrong one. There we go. One reroll, and it's a focus. He, he has, has a focus. So three it's hits. Also three hits. And of course, Beto with just a single evade. So that's why I said spread the damage to red. Because Fair point. now yeah. green is down to two hulls and could die, because this is another range one shot with focus. And, and Malarus. Yeah, yeah. Expecting three hits, but of and course he. D I mean, yes, this is the. I don't know how many times that that he got uh, the netties, but he did have um, um, focus. He did, he did. Indeed. So you he would expect it, his... but still, I mean, he didn't have to take a strain. Didn't. I mean, this is. Rough. And in Bento's position, the only thing he could have done different is like spreading the damage to red. But I don't think it would have mattered yeah. too much. So because, now, yeah. let's tally up again. Because I, I don't believe I have that right. But I think, so we have Malaros who lost two shields. Yellow, oh. green, mm -hmm. and blue lost a shield each. That's yes, it, five and damage. And that shield. Damage. Uh, Three, yeah. nine, fifteen... 18, 20. Yes, 20 damage. So that means Beto has 10 remaining. And Martin just got 9. So he has 22 remaining. Yeah, so this is snowballing now. This is. I, this mean, is really I, I wish rough. I could say he still got a few cluster charges, but. Well, what can I say? That plan didn't work out in the last couple of rounds. So I would suddenly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, what what are you going to do as Bento? You're down to three ships. Um, you only removed one. So yes. there's still six ships on the board. Um, Red and Phasma are in bumping hell. Their options are so limited. I mean, Phasma has to turn away. She yeah. has to go left. Otherwise, she gets bumped. A uh, red, whatever red does, it's probably going to bump if Martin plays his cards right. So I mean, the saving grace is yellow, but yellow, if he turns, he won't have a good shot. But you don't follow Fasma here, right? Hard. 
you just mm-hmm. keep going you keep going at red and yellow and, and kill those yeah i mean phasma is the only one you red is probably going to fly away and not matter too much this round red is easy to block and phasma has to turn away or gets blocked as well bento is slowly running out of options I mean, yeah, it would is... look very different if there was only like two or three ties left. But with five ties and Malarus, Martin is at 120 points. So to catch up, he has to remove four ties. Yeah. Yeah, so this is really rough. I. I... I mean, I'm I'm glad I take the win, but not like this. Lex, have you seen Lex in the chat? I'm starting to be afraid for my afraid for my red dice on Sunday. Someone has to pay the price for that. Yes, exactly. Someone has to. I I feel like the next few games are probably going to be all blanks on the Swiss reds. It would be fair after this match. It would be fair. Yeah. Um, well, Isaac just wrote that in the training game. So so he he made. Well, he made two training games yeah. of Martin in the, for this matchup, and it went exactly like that. Yeah, Martin so. was telling me it was hard to practice because, like, all matches he played against um, the TSFs were so dicey that he diced his opponent off the board. But well, I mean, to... we can see training works. <laughs> yeah, just roll better. Like, he obviously, yeah, just he, he roll trained. Roll better, fly better, and you win. I mean, yeah, he practiced. Just roll to... better. Yeah, he practiced to dice his opponent. That's like, why did I never think of that? This is. Oh, yeah. okay. Maybe he has just rolled enough blank dice that all the others are coming out right now. So, yellow, butch up. Ooh, red made it out. Yeah. That is well played by Bento. Yeah, very nice. And we'll lock green or brown. Why did he Brown? move the passive token? <laughs> um, he thought it's a lock, but it's actually I, I, I don't. I see why he doesn't want to go into green because green can get the calculate. But yes, why would he not go for? Yeah, so it's tricky. Brown has a has a. No, I, I think I think green is correct because you will shoot both anyway. Yeah. And I mean, it's it's better to have your bad cluster shot at the strange ship. We've learned that much. Yeah. And Fosma finally. Oh, Fabian just opened some wounds. Yeah. Yeah, he opens up all. Yeah, wounds. it's true. Against we Japan, we were three-one ahead, and then uh, the three remaining games, we just all lost. To be fair, that's also a little bit the format, and. Yeah. We had the the good the good uh, matchups before, and then the not so good a bit after. I mean, so this that's... is something that uh, the online XTC brings up because uh, the normal XTC in Poland you play the games at the same time. Yeah. So it's not that much pressure on the players at that point in time. You're not like I need to win this game. It's very seldom that this comes up. But here in the online XTC, you know now. Team Switzerland has. Well, we have. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Of course, oh, I didn't want boy. to interrupt you, but of course, Smaller rolls hit crit, and Fasma pulls a disabled power regulator. So that means next turn, Fasma is dead. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it fits the game. Yes, yes. Like, what did we expect? Of course, that was going to happen. Yeah, but no, now the interesting thing, he can shoot. Will you shoot at Malarus? Do you... Because Malarus has no shields, and Malarus could give some tasty points. But do you, I mean, you, well... Why it, not? I... Sure, yes, you, but you can use the cluster shot anyway. True, yeah. So, do we see a cluster, or is that... Um, oh, is I that missed... just a normal shot? Did That's he go for a damage. Cluster? It is happening. I can't believe it. Yes, me neither. The tie is halved. Yeah. This is so rigged. 
it's yeah, it's it's rough. I mean, Beto did everything right, and he flew these two Thai SFs, yellow and red, beautifully out of the blocking hell, just to get Phasma ionized. Yeah. So important to note that both yellow and red have clusters left. Yes, they do indeed. Oh, cluster shots. Going to green. Wow, it continues. Just a hit, hit crit, hit crit, crit. Blank. And Martin takes one on green. Is that correct? I think so. Yes, a crit on green. Weapons, Weapons failure. Weapons failure. All right. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much because... Oh, I was missing that. He already had a damage. Also, um, yes, no, the others are up to date. Just green was not correct. Weapons failure. Let me add the crit. So, faster shot. Add brown. Mm -hmm. Will we see more damage? Oof. That's finally, you want to say? It kind of deserved. Yeah, I that's I two I damage. Three damage. Three damage. So that's how the turntables. So that's how fast I mean, it can go. Think about this. This could have gone that way in the beginning with the exactly. first engagement. Exactly. Uh, Willie points out um, in the chat. Yes, we had more modifications in our roles on the Swiss side, but the first engagement went against Beto. Yeah, massively. I it think the, been... the important part is not that <laughs> our reds were too hot. It, that's Beto's yeah. reds were not hot enough. Exactly. And so that, another one goes through. That's on green. That's a crit. Isn't it a crit? It should be a crit. I don't understand. Uh, and he flips it. It's a direct hit. And it's a direct hit. Eight dead. matters. That matters a lot. Yeah. And two hits on the cluster hit or on the cluster missile. Mm -hmm. I mean, can Beto turn this around? That was onto Brown, huh? That was onto Brown. And it's and triple three natties. Okay. But slowly clawing back. So now two I will ties know moved. that he, he did like what seven damage now? Yes. That's as, as much as in all the turns before, almost. Yes. And that's exactly why Beto is behind because our reds were too hot and his reds were just not hot enough. Cold. As I think ice. the greens of Martin were okay. His greens were okay, but it's just like if he can't take ships off the board, he suffers. So, what are we seeing right now? We see a dead Phasma, um, that's for sure. So, we have Brown into Phasma, range 3. I mean, range 3, she could survive that, and if she survives this, then Malaris is going to snack her. Yeah, has a reroll. Gets strain. Yeah, but the... He shouldn't be too sad about that. Malaris is going to catch her. Yeah. No, and I mean, I have to say, like, he didn't, he did, he had only two shots this turn. And that was a little bit on him. I think he could have, yeah. he should have gone for a direction, for example. I was thinking about green and brown turning, following red and, and yellow, which by coincidence would have blocked red, by the way. Um, <laughs> that would not have been my intention, but it would have happened with my choice and um, I think the others could have turned into Phasma or turn around but the way he did it now yeah he yeah, just I mean, didn't have shots he for this round what will he do I mean blue yellow and red will probably try to catch the tie SFs so he'll go for hard maneuvers 
too hard, maybe. Brown, Brown turns in on Phosma together with Malorus, just to be safe. That if Malorus doesn't kill Phosma, that Brown can, yeah, give it a coup de grace. Yep. So here's so, a Phosma question. is off the board at the end of this turn if everything goes as planned. Yeah. But here's I mean, a question. Do you have to follow yellow and, and red or do you let them come to you? I think regroup everything onto Phosma and then because other, then I mean yellow both and red of them are out of clusters. True. So why not hunt them down? Because they will move on. Either you will be in range one. Without clusters, this is something that you can win. You have three greens. They have only two. So I'm hearing Brown does a two bank because he's stressed. And yes. three hearts from the others. Oh, he's turning. Focuses down, Phosma. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I think I would have gone for the Ty SFs because now they have no clusters. They're down to their natural two red dice arc. Oops. That is an interesting matchup or way of doing things. Because now he's serving them blue and brown. Brown taking an evade here. Okay. I don't dislike it. Yeah, I, I think it's it's a good idea because Brown is, is down to two hull points, so Yeah, but he can't cap yeah, that's the problem with the tie SFs and the back arc. I mean, yeah, you can keep shooting out of your ass, oh, but sooner or later you have to turn. Sorry about that. I had it wrong. Brown is on two hull, not on one. Red is the only one with that is still full. Blue and brown Turns hurt in. a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I see your point. Like if you had gone after them, it's actually would have been pretty nice. Yeah, I mean push them. Now yeah. you yeah. got them on the ropes because don't give them the chance to turn. And their back arc is only two red dice. You have two red dice as well, but you have three greens. Yep. They don't. You know, uh, in, a, in oh, a fair oh, fight... Oh, he accidentally deleted the ship. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, ah, that's bad. <laughs> How do you do that? There's the restore five command, right? Yes. How do you do that? Uh, no idea. Um. Oh, it's spawning in. Oh, that was the whole list. That's a little too much. Yeah, how do you get it back? Um, I think Beto can... Yep, there it is. Restored. Ooh, and it's back again. No, I mean... Don't make it a fair fight. Kick them when they're down, Rafi. You know how it works. Yeah. And the, the Thai SFs were down. Get them while you can. Because don't let them come back and kill like Malorus. Because then they will score big points. I see your point. But my reasoning, my thinking would have been more to, to keep your ships a little bit together. So you can make sure that once you engage the, the two badly hurt um, SFs again, that they the have to... Is Next round is kind of a clusterfuck anyway, when you have to turn the, all the ties. And yeah, then can, now he's loop. turned, you can because he's loops. going for another round of hard maneuvers. So I did not stop the time. Um, I will... They are at 15. Oh, wait. 15 in 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, I don't think the time is going to matter too much, but, no, no. well, nobody knows. Maybe Beto can claw himself back from the abyss. So, this is all fine. We can actually even see now in the instant replay that they didn't even lose any bit of time because they noticed immediately. Yeah, um, while well, we didn't. 
Yes. So, mothers. Getting the reroll, spending two. And focus for two and. Ooh, evades both. Fast my weights. And that is why I would have turned in the brown one because it's it's only one hull, but sometimes ships survive stuff they shouldn't. And now plus my shooting back. Going into Malorus. So plus, two against plus she one. She would have had clusters left. Yes, but didn't take a Yeah, for the defense. Of course, one just hit. a single and Which Martin evades. Adds insult to injury. Yeah. Kick them when they're down. <laughs> this is out of arc. Blue. So, starting with blue. So, I think it's pretty clever to shoot with blue now. because First, because you don't have a token. You expect to miss. right? So, grab a calculate while you can. Exactly. Grab a calculate. But then again, <laughs> on the other hand, you just can delete Fosma. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, like um, he, he tries to go for the clever play, but um, fails miserably at it and kills Fosma. Yeah, that, that's another one of those. Um... Yeah, they need to shoot now. Lovely ATP. True. Does more damage. And red um, as well. Yeah. Well, he. I mean, it's red already has a calculate, so it doesn't matter for red. Fair enough. So, Beto. Whew. Yeah. So Lex just pointed out something. Red and yellow yeah. were the first damaged ships, and they're actually the ones that live longest. You got to point out, Beto did well. He really protected his ships. Yeah, he, and he made it hard for Martin to kill them. So he did everything right. The way he cycled them, he swapped them out. Like that was beautiful. It was he, he played really well. It was well done. Mm -hmm. But there's, I don't, I don't see how he comes back from that. Uh, well, you never know. Maybe the red dice uh, switch fully to his side. Who knows? No, but I think uh, he's down to seven holes. Or seven lives, all in all. Um, yeah, that's going to be rough. Yeah, so we really have just a yellow. Red is still full. Yellow lost the shield. Blue and brown have taken one damage each. And Melrose is down two shields. So that means we have a total of eight, ten, twelve. Blue and 13, brown have two damage. 15. One shield and one hull. Sorry, yeah, but I mean, I meant a half. damage card. But even if he kills them, that's just another 25 points, which is not enough to claw back. Yeah. I mean, even if he kills all four ties on the board, well, then maybe. Because that would be another 50, 75 points. Yeah. But he needs to kill all the ties, which is just hard. Which is rough. Yeah. <laughs> just. Hard, hard, hard work. And so he's coming in here. Malarus, of course, slightly, a um, little bit trying to run away. I mean, yeah, it, it just does, he can't um, really turn around, right? So that's it more. And it's a lovely ship, but it's not the most maneuverable ship ever. So coordinating a focus onto brown just to make sure that he's really super safe i believe that shot into... yeah that's even that's even uh obstructed so no way no way right that's We've what they seen always say strange things this game ravi ravi don't forget that okay I mean, it's two hits he knows he's not gonna get shot at so gets the uh, five he waits if he wants to yeah, yeah, why wouldn't you? Not even you? close. Oh, there's a, calc a lock. All so, right. uh, would somebody like to total up how much beer we own the Mexicans? Is it <laughs> one beer for every hull and shield too much? That's a lot. No, it's... But, so we have... We are, are now in the last 10 minutes. Um, 
Fab, um, Martin here is, is ready to, to charge in with all his ships. His Epsilons, they do have okay blues, right? So with his two banks and he will probably now go go in there and just take out red. I don't see how red yeah. survives. There are no clusters left on the board, so don't worry about that. Just get in there and get him off the board. You know what? I was right. Brown is actually on one left. He just stacked him. Okay. Ah. So, yeah. So let me put that I see, back. I see. So I was thinking, why? Why would I? Okay. No. So that's why he's running with Brown because Brown is actually just on one. Not going for a bank instead going for the three straight i'm not sure i agree with that because generally the the distance between the two is roughly the same and he gives red options here sure he gets two arcs on target but i don't think that the red is going to five straight in there so that blue gets a shot yeah important to note they do not oh Ooh. okay Okay, 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 okay. That's an interesting maneuver. I just wanted to point out they do not have boost, but they do have evade. That's something that many people forget. So yeah, we see a green dice and evade. Yeah, we see we see a nice thing from Beto here. He's going to split up his two ships. So he came in hot the one after the other, but made sure that he's actually um, ah, splitting he knows up, right? what is in range and what isn't, so yes. important. Yes. And um, Malaris pondering forward. I so do you think the yeah, look is going to coordinate? That's a good I choice. Think... Oh, I like that. Yes, very good, very good. Coordinating an evade to blue. I know that Martin has a big post up, posted right in front of him, where there is written coordinate and jam. <laughs> Did you tell him to do that? Yes. And <laughs> it works. Nice. If we think of Lex in his game where he missed his passive sensors on his fifth brother with homings. Yes, Lex. I think there was everybody was screaming at their at the stream. Yeah. He waits here to hit. Can't crit. get through. No problem there at all. Doesn't even have to spend the token and then red can Probably go goes for yellow. Him. Yellow has no shield, so just another damage for half yeah. points. True, that's easier points. And Hoping for a direct hit to remove him off the board. Um... Oh, going to blue. Oh, uh, blue. But yeah, no one is, is, is not it's, enough. Yeah. Not with yeah, yeah. evade and all that chance that's... Yellow only into red, which is of course great. By the way, we also know now that he will not be able to get the reroll because of the coordinate. Yes. So, so it's only one hit. Um, he can survive this with three dice. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Making it interesting. Red going for the next shot. Range also range three. three. So blue is going to be range two. We'll have a reroll. Double hit. hit. Is it enough? Oh. Oh. Takes step damage. Step by step, one shield removed. Down to six hulls on Beto's side. That's another bit of points for Martin. And now range two. Another two hits. Solid. Evades one. Half points again. No, it's even the, that first card. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the first card. Half points. So Has already happened. So, Beto. Five minutes to get this back. Not going to happen. 162 against 77. Beto has to kill. He really has to. He basically has to take out all the ties now. Uh, he would have to take out Malarus plus an undamaged tie. Would that be enough? That is... I don't think so. 60, 71. 71 so would not yet be enough. No, so, full Malarus, red or yellow, and brown. 
yeah, this is in five minutes. I do not see that happening. I mean, we're probably going to see two rounds. I can see that because I think Martin has a plan, Beto has a plan, so I don't expect them to take too long to set the dials. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I can see two rounds happening, but even yeah, then, yeah. both what? ships of yeah. Beta would have to survive. Malaris would have to die, and Malaris is still on full hulls, isn't he? Malaris? Yeah, he's, he has five remaining. So, he needs five damage. Five damage is like Going a crit chain. Going for the block. Will he get Look it? Look at That's this. Beautiful. Very well done. Actually, I would have liked to flew the evade because I'm not sure yellow will will. I mean, if he bumps, he bumps, and if he doesn't bump, then. I mean, if red bumps, he still gets a, a range one shot into blue. So uh, Ooh, expected okay. that. Is he going for the focus? Ah, uh, I think I would have been greedy in his position and gone for the the passes, mm -hmm. just to be able to. And this will be a. Oh, this will be a double mother charge from Red into Malarus. He can choose, going either way. Yeah, but first he has to survive, to survive the Malarus yes. shot himself, so... Going oh. for the Maddies! <laughs> oh, man! And... Ooh, it, he survives! He has to spend focus, but he survives. Yeah, takes one. Oof. Down to one, that was close. Um, wait, it was not a crit, right? No, he, he by accident took one from Phasma. Okay. All right. Now time for the revenge from the special forces. Will they revenge themselves? Mm. We, we need to total up all the, the beers we're owing to the Mexican. Oh, let's wait until... The, I mean, the, the series is not yet over. I think um, it, it's probably not going to end up in our favor in the beer regards. <laughs> okay, fair so, enough. Going will we to... see a crit chain on Malarus? Triple crit. Oh, oh just one. He has a one lock. Crit, is a crit. Has a lock. It hit crit. Malaris evades one hit. So what are we going to see? We see panic pilot. That's just not not doing it. But it's half points on Malaris. True. So it's points on the board. It's another twenty-three points, so it brings him up to a hundred. Yes. Oh, this is. Uh, Yellow, spending the lock. Hit Two hit hits. Blank. Oof. And that is a dead blue. That is a dead blue. I told you, suddenly... go for the evade. Yeah, you did. You were right. I said it. You did. You did. And I agreed because <laughs> I was too risky. Yeah, if you don't, yeah, if you don't get Yeah, but another tie off the board. And I think blue was on... Two. Two. Yeah. So another 12 points at 112. Or 113. Double hit. He Just one. one. Takes the damage. Martin making it extra close and interesting. Oh, blanks. Yeah, Malaris is slightly off to the side. Oh, and Malaris is double stressed, so this yes. makes it possible to catch Malaris. But even then, I mean, if you if you this well, destroy... catching Malaris is another twenty-two points. Twenty-three. Uh, no, 23. That was time they just started. Um, I believe they have to play another round. I think so. Yes. Yeah, Malarus. Getting Malarus off the board and the full tie. I, I think that's still not enough. 
not saying anything. I mean, he... 26 and no. What are you going to do with, with red? You're going to sloop. Sloop. Or sloop. With yellow. <laughs> going after brown somehow. I mean, you could do the turn or you could do the... I don't think you want to do the bank with yellow, with the yellow uh, SF. I mean, the options of Malarus are also very limited. It's more, where is Malarus going to go? Um, is it Can though? he go? No, not the four straight. What about the two hard left, getting guns on yellow? I mean, you're not going to get an action anyway. You might as well shoot one last time. I think, uh, yeah, I would try that, but uh, I expect Beto to maybe hard turn to the right with the red one and going straight with the yellow. Hard turn to the right. Okay, but that's fine. Because if you do a toe hard with, with Malorus, you can... I mean, if you go straight with yellow, you can turn your arc to the back and no matter where the ties go. But yeah, Martin is trying to keep his ships alive. Yeah. Yeah, it's correct. I mean, the time is up. There is nothing to be yeah. gained by, by adding some MOV. The only yeah. way he can lose now is he has to... He would have to lose both Malarus and the full ship. Is that right? I don't think that it's enough. Like if... Oh, going on to... See, that's why you go for Ooh. the for the... Um, okay, so actually, did he? You know, the two hard would have arc dodged. I'm just saying. <laughs> Barely in, but he's in. Yeah. That is a stressed mother. Is... Triple stressed probably represents Martin's state of mind here. <laughs> yeah, but Mothers is on free hull, so. Um... We're we're going for a crit chain here if we want to see him die. Target lock, so re rolls both of them. Oh, into blanks. Re rolls into blanks. This I is think this so is rough. this is a very good summary of the game. Yes, yes, this is brutal, absolutely brutal. Taking a lock out. Martin of the deck. played well. Yes, he did. Beto played better, but the dice were just not seeing it. I would agree with that. I think I think Peter really got, you know, he, he was really unlucky. Yeah. The clusters. The yeah. clusters should have done so much damage to these ties, and they just, I mean, he did as much damage in one round of clusters, I think round five or six, as he did in the full game before that. And he had less ships on the board. Oh, we see another reroll into hit hit. Will we see half points? Oh, mm. we do. One more damage on yellow, Ooh. and that is half points. And that gives us a final. 126 score. versus 162. What a nice number in combination. Okay. It so. works with the mirror match, doesn't it? Yes. Same numbers, mirror match. Yeah. Yeah. So, GG. Well GG played, for both. Switzerland. Yeah, I did not see that coming. So we had that as a as an advantage, Mexico game. We did. Um, I still I, think... I still agree with that. <laughs> yes, I I also I think so. This is if if Beto does not get this incredibly unlucky. I mean, I I almost do want to see the the dice statistics, even though they are worthless. But in this case, ah. Uh, would be so rough. And yeah, I mean, the, the first engagement, it was actually in Beto's favor. It really was. But it just, the clusters didn't fire. Yeah. So the, you mean the positioning of the first engagement? The positioning was very lovely. Martin hadn't really turned his swarm already in. Um, I mean, the engagement was good. It just didn't work out. Yeah, I agree. With the clusters, I expected him to do a lot more damage. I mean, 
it just it, it didn't work. And afterwards, it was fighting back, trying to get back into the game. And the next couple of rounds were quite similar. Yeah, this is. Martin yeah, didn't I mean... do any big mistake. Martin kept on playing solidly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beto yeah, did yes. some quite lovely moves, but it was just not enough to to claw back from that start. That's the thing, isn't it? If both play well, then the the relative impact of the dice is is can get uh, even higher. Especially with this matchup of clusters versus free greens. Yes. It's so dicey. I mean, I would love to see how many red and green dice were rolled by each player in this game. I think you would see so high numbers of dice rolled. If you look at the board, he spent all of his clusters except two. So that's 22 cluster attacks, at least. Yeah, that was, and I mean, he the damage he did with it is was uh, beyond uh, ridiculously low. Yeah, with I mean, you're the the master of probability, Mister X Wing Analytica, but you can wow. probably calculate <laughs> how much damage he should have done. Oh, I just looking at the dice statistics. No, I should not have. How bad is it? So, um, it's actually actually. Um, so Beta rolled 112 red dice. Whoa. That's insane. That's so much. Holy crap. And I mean, you would expect like what, 50 something, 55 before modifications, yeah. right? So, so he had, he had 50, 50, um, um, hits, hit and crits together. Yeah, you would expect um, 56. So I mean, it's it, you know, in that regard, it's not that far off. And of course, the the thing, the, the issue is in those tons of dice, you also you have the rerolls in there. So that of course completely yeah. changes it, which means it makes it a little bit worthless to look at, because actually you would want to look at the number of attacks and then factor in the rerolls into the individual attacks, basically, because with three dice you expect a 1.5 right and then if you reroll you if you have a lock you ex you go up to 2.25 so and that is of course something else than looking at six dice rolled which would happen if you have if you have three and then reroll three again that's not the same thing because it actually improves your chance to get high high um, number of hits and crits if you can reroll just the ones that were bad. So, yeah. No, it's, I mean, it, it's worthless the way it's implemented in TTS, absolutely worthless. What is cool to see is that Beto rolled and rerolled a lot of red dice. 112 and... red dice. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah, but let's see if, if Martin joins us for an after action report. Oh yeah, let's get do you did it quickly did you, did you tell him? Uh, not yet. Or we will. can we can go we can jump into him. To him to his uh All right, let's move over. Hello Martin. Hello. GG, well done. <laughs> Thanks. You on stream? Yes, we are on stream. Okay. Um yes, that was an interesting game. Uh, dice. All the yes. Dice. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that game. I mean, you you don't have to be. It's not your your mistake. But we we just said that. I think we you both played well. Beto got a beautiful first engagement and. and I um... the first engagement was on him side. I was very bad for me. I didn't like it, but yeah. Yeah, the positioning was much very much in his favor, but the. Yeah. The red dice were not. <laughs> no. Yeah, he, I lose pink, but then nothing more. That's, oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he flew exactly. very well. He, he played very well, and yeah, dice luck. 
not on his favor. Yes, yes. You know, it was it was really um. I mean, the amount of red dice he rolled is is crazy, and Let me see but how also much. also you you just pummeled him again and again. And once it, it's more that your die your shapes didn't die, right? It's not like yeah. your your stuff was fine pretty much. It's just that your your shapes didn't die. Yeah. So. Or too late. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then it, it snowballs. No, it was, but it was yeah. an interesting game to watch and and definitely fun for us. I mean, <laughs> I, we I think we have to send a lot of beer to Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> Martin, du geiles hier. Hoi, Fabi. Hi, hi, Fabi. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, it was it was good. It was good. Okay, yeah. so that means we are now on on a three, three one. one. Yeah. Didn't expect that. Yeah, me neither. I thought we would be two two by now. Yeah. And but I mean, I'm, I'm even more happy than that we are now three one, and that means we could even finish the series today. We have two more games coming up. Um, mm -hmm. Let me quickly switch over to the coming up screen. So. Uh, so Martin, what did you? Well, how was it, how was the game for you? Uh, don't really know why. I'm not happy with the first engagement and the second. Mm -hmm. um, he flew. I didn't bump him enough, so he saw it coming and and, and take the right decisions. Mm -hmm. And after that, um, yeah. He loses ships, he shouldn't. I lose not, but I should. I I'm happy with the win, but it's not really uh, enjoyable it at the moment. Okay, yeah. Um. By the way, Martin, we have to actually quickly jump over to Dome because he can't follow us here. Oh, because okay. Because he's not in group. Sure. Let's quickly move over. Okay, okay. We, we are back. Hello, I was part of group E. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just you're just easy. advisor. You're not you're not. Uh, yeah, team. I joined now. I don't like playing online, so <laughs> quite boring. Yeah, Martin. Well, the plan worked, of Fabian. Yeah, mm -hmm. I see off that. the table. Holy shit! After yeah. the first engagement, I was like, "Ooh, Mexico is gonna eat you." Nach dem ersten Wurf habe ich es gedacht, aber nachher hast du es umgedrückt und wie gesagt, besser gewürfelt. Das war unsere Strategie, gewesen. hat funktioniert. Aber ich muss sagen, Jam perfekt. Ja. Coordinate perfekt. Alles gut gewesen. Ja. The note worked, didn't it? Sorry? The, the note, the note, the note worked. To oh, yeah. Ja. And coordinate. Yeah. Ich glaube, wir sind nicht mehr auf dem Stream, oder? Sind wir noch? Hier da. Mal mal, mal mal. We are on stream. Oh, on stream. <lacht> <Ja>. <lacht> As usual, we can see how organized we are. Fabian is just like <laughs> blabbering out in Swiss German. <laughs> with his with his accent from Liechtenstein. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so now um, are we going to see um, the Japan version 2.0? So like going 3-1 and losing 3-4? <sighs> no. <laughs> so again, I mean... like, like against Japan, we have now three match balls. Yes, you just have to win one of them. And and this time we actually have Lex who said, you know, his game is a five. <laughs> no pressure to Lex. <laughs> yeah. And and Raphael has time to win his first match as well. So no no pressure there. Oh ah, yeah. no, but I mean I take you know, I take those that you guys all can't anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can I can pair you into into that next time. <laughs> just do it. It. Okay. I mean, Lex, uh, Lex every time, yeah, this is more like my favorite and good matchup. And then you're there like, mm, okay. Lex starts to discuss it himself and it gets worse with every time he thinks about it. The same for Fabian. Maybe we need the mental coach, Rafi. So for Fabian, next time. the two of us, we actually, we should switch matchups. I would rather play the, the Republic Aces. That would be the much better for me. Yeah, would have, could have, should have, huh? Yeah. Would have been way better. And yeah, I mean, I mean focus ping pong. It's rough. For for the guys watching, we'll continue with the next game at eighteen oh 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 Swiss time. So in another two and a half hours, pretty much. 
It's gonna four be four o'clock UTC time, right? Yes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> all that, all these time zones make me anxious. We're gonna stream it again, and then another four, uh, two hours later, Ruffy can show off how good he can beat the rebels. Yes, in four hours I will play. And if we still haven't won by then, then Lex is going to play the decider game tomorrow. Yes, he will. Lex will be the decider when both Babian and I lose today. So yes. Lex tomorrow evening. I forgot the exact time, but he will play tomorrow evening. Uh, it's I think it's six o'clock. I think Swiss time. Six. Because it's still locked as four o'clock. Okay. Then it's four o'clock. So time. No pressure on Lex there. He has only to win pressure, because he said it's an easy matchup for him. Yes. <laughs> it's an easy matchup, and I think he wins it anyway. That's what Lex believes, and we will see him winning that final decider game on Sunday. All <laughs> right. Good. So Fabian and you, you and I both lose, right? Okay. I, I. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, don't. I mean, it's we hard lose matchup. by purpose, Rafi. Yes. Oh come on, you don't it. have a hard matchup. You have an okay matchup. Me? Yes. No, it's it's like 50-50. Exactly, uh, that's not a hard yeah, matchup. It's that's, okay. It is. If he if he flies without any mistakes, I lose. That's yeah, but that's a normal that's a normal matchup. I mean. No, it isn't. That's there what we call of, there, are, there are a lot of matchups where you can uh, do mistakes and you. Uh, you don't have to fly mistakeless to to win or lose. It's not not. In I, any I should play the game. kind of list that you play. Right? If you can, if you can play without mistake and and win, that sounds great. I yes, certainly my list. It's a why shouldn't it be like that? <laughs> Good point. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean it's uh, certainly the list. Uh, the, my list accepts some mistakes. You can. The only the, the important thing is that um, more or less your ships can shoot, but there is uh, the rest is a little bit actions. Ah, don't worry about them. You have coordinate and stuff. You have Sam. You have a lot of stuff that gives you extra actions, so you can bump stuff. Not that important. And uh, yeah. What language is that? Swedish. Yeah, Swedish. That must be an American, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so I think with that we conclude the first episode of the Dogoball Statistic Force and the <laughs> podcast. And uh, we will yes. tell you the odds. If you want or not, we do not care. Absolutely. And um, thank you all for joining. Thank you, Martin, for pulling in that win. And and uh, then we see each other or hear each other in two and a half hours. Yeah. Yes, yes. See ya and have a good time so far then. Bye all. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.